Hey guys, it's nice to be here. Welcome to Friendship Shaving. For my shave with the new Parker Solo Edge Single Edged Razor today. I have my Captain Faucet brush, a smaller brush, and I uh, mixed up my soap and got a good lather going already. And the soap I'm using today is another one of Sean's samples. Got a lovely bag of samples kindly sent by Sean. And the one I've picked today is Savon de Rosage Artisanal Citrus Fresh. I will tell you about that as we go along and we get into the shape. Now the razor, I've been using this all week guys. And it's very nice, it's very stylish as you can see. And it is a two piece razor, so the handle turns but doesn't come away. The head cap comes away. I'll just put that down for the moment. It comes with a hundred half blades from Parker and Distributed by Parker Safety Razor USA and the blades are made in Egypt. I like these blades. Certainly has worked well for me in this razor over the last week. And I'm just looking down and concentrating on what I'm doing here. So I don't cut myself, but there we are. There's the half blade with Parker written on it. And on the other side, it says premium platinum. And the blade sits in the razor like that. It was sticking to my finger slightly there. The head cap goes down on top and locks into place with those little nodules there that fit into the corresponding gap on the head cap. And we'll tighten that up. And there we go, all very easy. Now the citrus fresh soap I've got today smells lovely. It is made in France by a company called ES Razage. And now I will put the link in the description to this video. But um, it is a citrus scented soap. And the top notes, the ones you smell when you first smell the soap, uh, contain a scent of citrus and an orange tree. I'm definitely picking up a little bit of that orange tree. It describes it as being a very airy scent on first smell. The heart notes. And we get a little bit of florality with the heart notes. We've got iris, jasmine and heliotrope with some spices in there as well and then for the base notes we go down into deeper scented musk sandalwood amber leather solar i don't know what that is and vanilla so Quite a lot going on with this soap, but it smells lovely. What I'm getting is a little bit of orange. It's um, slightly deeper orange. I'm picking up some of the spice and a little bit of sandalwood. That's my, my first impression. And uh, yes, I like this. Made in France, eh? Um, it sells for... Well, 
I should say there are two versions of this soap. There is a tallow version that is also made with goat's milk and that version is 15 pound 16 pence for 145 grams and there is also a vegan version which obviously doesn't have tallow or goat goat's milk and that sells for the same price but you get 125 grams so a little less soap with that one and uh, just at the moment I looked in their good deals section and they've got a tub there for £10.88 and that is a tallow version so uh, yeah nice soap a bit of citrus floral in the middle and woodsy at the bottom now let's get going with this razor as I say I have been enjoying this all week I find it to be a nice shave you can maybe just see if I you can maybe just see the angle that I'm getting here with the razor and that is very comfortable for me the razor handle is a brass construction and the razor head is some form of metallic alloy so as you would expect The razor is slightly heavier in the handle but despite that um, and I say despite that because I prefer a more evenly balanced razor but despite the weight being slightly more in the bottom of the handle this does feel very nice in the hand I have some details here it is uh, 94 grams or 3.3 ounces in weight and uh, the total height is 9.8 centimeters or 3.9 inches I like that you can use half of any DE blade um, but these half blades from Parker are very nice indeed I feel there's lots of versatility there with being able to use any DE blade just cut in half It's a very nice shave guys, there is a little bit of blade feel with this razor particularly for me across my lip there where it's uh, the skin is a little bit softer and there's more movement in the skin I've been finding it very smooth going with the grain and just a little bit of blade feel going against the grain and as I said across my lip there um, very nice razor it's got a lovely satin finish on it yeah I like it guys I think the price point is really really good I got this from America uh, from Parker's website in America because I couldn't wait basically 
and uh, but it was um, $39 and uh, I think that's a great price for a razor I really do so you know even if it goes on sale in the UK for £39 I think that's a really good price for a razor it's um, very nice to hold it's very functional and it's not going to break the bank I've had, as I say, a few shaves with this. I've had some three pass shaves that have been very nice, and I had a two pass shave which was BBS. So I'm going to try for that one today rather than going into my second pass automatically. And we'll see how we do. And there might be some touch-ups afterwards. For me, I feel that this is a medium razor in terms of its aggression. And uh, it is just heading into the next level from that. So... As I say, it's very smooth going with the grain. Let's see how we do here. In fact, it feels very smooth going against the grain here. It's only really when I come round here to these front, these awkward bits that I have. that I can definitely feel the blade a little more. Yeah, top end of medium I would say for me. Well it works very well. It's nice to see two-piece razor as well. I feel it's a step up for Parker from their usual razors. Feels and looks quite modern compared to their more traditional models. I love the shape of the handle as well. There, I can feel the blade just there. It is on those bits where my skin is a little more sensitive. And that's where I feel the blade more, obviously. I'm not telling you anything you're going to be surprised at there, am I? Let's go from the middle outwards. Guys, I never go upwards on my top lip. I just can't do it. If I try, it always leaves me super sore. I usually draw blood if I try that. And I never try it with a straight razor because that is just asking for a slip and a slice off the nose there. So I 
but I do find coming from the side inwards and out from the middle works very well for me. There we are, two passes. I'll just have a rinse and we'll see how that goes. Now I wonder, and I've not tried this, I've loosened the head cap but it's not coming off so you could hold the handle and rinse the blade and get get that nice and clean in there and then just tighten it back down again that works very well Oh, that's a nice shave, guys. I'm not BBS today. I did get it the other day. Oh, superb on my neck. Missed a bit there, going that way. But I'm going to leave that there. We're in uh, damn fine shave territory, really. Very nice. Nice razor, guys. I think at that price... It's great, and it's great to see them producing a nice quality razor at a, at a fair price, you know. There we are, that'll do. Now, after shave today, been having a little trade with my friend Bill, and uh, he sent me this Duke Cannon Supply Company after shave balm. It says it is ice cold. Menthol to cool, shea butter to hydrate, and a portion of proceeds benefits US veterans. And on the back it says, It feels like you face planted into an Alaskan snowbank. Um, a fresh scent of bergamot and sandalwood, so it will go very well with today's sample of soap. I must admit, sandalwood is not something I'm overly fond of, but it was very nice mixed with that orange. And I'm sure this will be very nice. I smell it's mentholated. It feels very nice. It's not thin at all. Yeah, that feels really, really good actually, and I can feel the menthol working. Oh, yeah, that's a nice scent. Definitely smell that bergamot and sandalwood together. There we are, guys. That is my shape. And just to let you know, I'm now on Instagram, so... Uh, if you can pop over to Friendship Shaving on Instagram and uh, follow me there, that would be great. I'm aiming to just try and take more pictures of my shaving gear because um, it's all lovely stuff. <laughs> take good care, guys, and thanks for joining me today. And that was a lovely shave. All the best now. Bye bye.